Earlier this summer, the Trump administration announced a $12 billion buyout program for farmers. It's all supposed to help them in the middle of this trade war between the U.S. and China. Local 5's Rafael Lopez met with a soybean farmer who says while he continues to support the president, he's getting impatient. He's got it all in tonight's big story. Well, Iowa farmers will be getting about $500 million from this aid program. Soybean farmers will see most of that money. One farmer I spoke with says that while he appreciates the aid, the damage has already been done. Don't let the serenity of this soybean farm fool you. When it's springtime or fall and it's time to plant or harvest a crop, it's a hammer down time until it's either in the ground or in the bin. Farmers like Roland Schnoll know all about harvesting because his family has been doing it for decades. But this harvest season is bringing a lot of uncertainty. You know, when China, our largest customer, ceases buying soybeans or almost ceases, it causes havoc in the market, which we've seen. At this market, he's operating at a $2 loss per bushel. With 25,000 bushels on his farm, that's $50,000 out of his pocket. If a person had to market at these prices today, and a lot of farmers do, uh, just simply to make cash flows, it's very painful because they're suffering a significant loss. But there's still hope. Farmers like Schnell are able to start applying for bailout money through the USDA. I need, I need to support to get closer to that breaking even level, even though I did some marketing earlier in the year. Uh, I will apply for it. Schnell admits farmers want trade over aid, but will remain optimistic. I feel positive that there's many areas that we need to have improved and, and will be improved. Uh, when these negotiations are completed, and it will be better for us in the long run. At the same time, it's very painful going through it. The USDA says farmers can apply for up to $125,000 in aid if the trade war continues. There will be a second round of assistance next year. In the studio, Rafael Lopez, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Rafael, thank you. And the Farm Service Agency of Iowa recommends not applying for the aid until farmers finish harvesting. They say doing it that way lets farmers get an accurate count on their bushels and see how much aid they actually qualify for.